I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. This is the first paint of the year. I'm quite excited, regardless of the weather. It's not ideal. Actually, I spent like half an hour this morning just studying the weather. And I was like, fuck it, I need to pay. I was thinking this side or that side, but it's not looking good. So obviously I'm choosing the underpass. So you can either be looking for perfect ball, perfect weather conditions or a perfect excuse. Guess what I've chose? Right, so this is the wall. Obviously I've painted here before. Not ideal, I, I wanted it a bit bigger, but because of the rain and the, I kind of uh, settled for this, which is fine, which is fine. I know what you're thinking, Mark, Marek, Marco, Maras, what have you folded today for the first wall of the year? Well, before I start creasing the first lines, let us go to the folding station and see what's popping. Well, can you tell what it is now? It's obviously something to do with the coming kind of a commercial celebration slash holiday. Is it a clue? And this will be fun to paint. I'm excited to paint this. Right, anyway, let's start. Right, this is what two hours of work do. Well, not quite sure how realistic this is. I feel rusty last time I painted in November, so it's kind of, it's all right, I guess. This detail sells it as what it actually is. If you are a guy, you know what it is. You know the texture, you know the feel. So obviously, as you've seen, I've used a stencil that broke in this horrible wind. Well, not perfect, but perfection is a disease. Well, it's two minutes to midday. So obviously you can see it's an origami heart. However, I did not fold it out of lined paper or plain paper. I folded it out of a kind of paper I've never painted before. So the model is simple, but the print on the paper is interesting. Let's do this. Obviously I'm rushing, but weather update, never trust the focus weather. Look at this. Right, I'm actually glad that I came out regardless of the weather. And just to think I was that much close from not coming, uh, well, but here we are. Seems that this was a bit too much of a hassle as a warm up. You know, this plastic packet, I'm not there, I'm not there yet. First, 
paint of the year. Anyway, no excuses. It's all about the story. It's all about what I'm trying to say in this mural. And what I'm trying to say in this mural is... This little tone piece was really fun to paint. Let me do the texture, not texture, the print. Let me do the print. Can you tell what it is now? It's uh, five lines. I've done it a bit too small, but I have no time to fix it. I need to just get on with it. These musical lines, first time I'm painting them, I should have made them bigger. They are too small and they are too much spaced out. It's like kind of a one finger apart, but obviously I can't, I don't have time to fix it because if I wanted to paint the texture again, it will take me like this many hours to just to do the creases and the texture and do the lines again. Lesson learned for the next time. Well, I should have done more research about notes. This is basic knowledge of musical notation I have. This is what I remember from primary school, right? Very wonky. As I was painting them, I was like, how do I paint them? So I haven't practiced that. Anyway, it is what it is, I guess. And now I'm going to start tidying it up around. My antenna is broken. Okay, so I've cleaned it up with a roller and cutbacks. Now it's time for the drop shadow. And I think the drop shadows will make it pop. Thing is finished. Obviously, origami heart just in time for Valentine's. Musical notation for the first time. Very pleased with it. Have you missed me saying this since November? Come on, don't worry. Some juicy details. Very happy how dimensional it is. However, this is not my original design. No, original design, but I actually wanted to paint something else. You might have spotted it at the folding station and it says, fuck you, right? That was my initial idea, but I wasn't feeling it. Origami heart out of a condom pouch with fuck you. It's kind of a double messaging, don't you think? It should be self-explanatory without the writing, fuck you. Well, it was just too extra, so I left it plain. But what do you think? Should I have included uh, that fuck you message across the heart? And I think cutting out stencil was the right choice. It's all right as the first piece of the year, I guess. It's not as foily enough. It's not as reflective enough. So this is something I need to improve on. No, I'm really chuffed. I'm really chuffed about this mural. What do you think? I'm back on London streets, 2022. We're doing it. Anyhow, my name is Edmund Mark. I'm a London-based street artist, passionate about painting origami and passionate fucking hell. Anyway, it's time to go home. Right. This mural is not sponsored by Durex. 